Welcome to attend the episode of Applied Salesforce. In this episode, it's going to be a micro project building a simple calculator. This is actually going to be a code walkthrough. And uh, before we jump onto the code, the concepts that uh, um, that this particular episode drives home is uh, data binding, conditional rendering, JavaScript handlers, accessing element attributes inside your JavaScript handler, and the CSS alignment. Okay, so uh, before we get into the code, I'll show you how this works. I type in the first number, type in the second number, both accepts decimal, and uh, I click on a button. It renders automatically, right? So, and it's dynamic, right? Okay, so let, let me walk you through the code. The code is pretty simple. Look at the HTML uh, stuff, the markup. Um, I have a few um, div tags. The first div, div tag houses the first input element, that is this. And important thing here is step and class. The step uh, attribute helps you uh, to allow the input element except decimals. And um, the class uh, attribute uh, with uh, the name as operand, I will be using this inside the JavaScript. And um, the third div element houses a button group. Important attributes here is title. So this title gets accessed inside the JavaScript controller while rendering the results. And uh, each of these input element is also associated to a different event handler. So handle add when you click add button and um, handle MUL JavaScript controller when you click uh, mul button, multipl multiplication button, so so on and so forth. And the third uh, part is uh, the results, which gets conditionally rendered. It is pretty dynamic. Okay, so that's all about the markup. Let's look at the JavaScript code. JavaScript code is fairly straightforward. I have three uh, dynamic properties, and um, each of these uh, is decorated with track. Uh, uh, any changes here would uh, would uh, you know render your markup. Right, so result operation and show result and um, the even handlers for add subtract multiply multiply and divide and inside the even handler let's assume that you press the add button so the first line here uh, you know tries to get a handle to the title attribute let's assume i click the add button right so event dot target dot title it means it is trying to uh, get access to this value right so it gets this value addition similarly subtraction multiplication and division would be gotten um, um, inside the appropriate event handlers and the second line of code is uh, i've used the query selector uh, all method and i've used the operand class it means that it returns an array of uh, input elements so we have a couple of input elements here with uh, the um class name so the these two input elements would be returned inside the array it has two elements the array would have two elements i'm accessing the value of the first ele input element here which is this okay and um, using this line of code i am accessing the second input element the value and since the uh, query uh, selector all uh, the value returned is a uh, text value i wanted to you know uh, cast it to the float right so that's that's the reason we use parse float okay and then we set the show result dynamic property to do true and that is when you get the results dynamically rendered okay and the third um, is a very simple css uh, i have used a padding uh, 5 pixel for all the div and um, i have this button container uh, class so the button group is uh, sandwiched inside this div button container and um, i have uh, used display flex and justify content center uh, so that it displays in the middle of the card okay so that's about the code and um, uh, once you uh, do it in your uh, personal org you would get this uh, uh, lightning card displayed and uh, and you will be able to you know calculate things right it's pretty simple and uh, that's it uh, for this um, uh, episode. Um, uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.